Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all over the world, welcome. This is part two, part two of the a. message entitled Wrestling for a Change. Part 2A. Taken from the book of Genesis B. chapter 32, verse 22 to 32. This is part two of the series part entitled a. Wrestling for a Change. Talking about Jacob, taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 32, reading from verse 22 to 32. We already have part one, so let me do a quick recap. The background of this story is that Jacob and his mother used goat skin and put it in Jacob and... Well... Now Jacob was a smooth skinned person but Esau his brother was hairy and Isaac their father was whole and he could not see and the mother knew that the Bible said the Lord indicate in the Bible that Jacob should receive the blessing but sometimes we try to help God by doing our own thing well. and so the mother tell Jacob to go kill a kid, a goat, and cook some food, because the father told Esau to get some of that good Vinci, yam, whatever that he used to cook that the father liked. Now the father told Esau to go do that, and the mother heard, and tell Jacob when Esau gone, come quickly. Come and do this before your brother come back home. Now notice in the Bible in Genesis, the Bible said in the reading of the story about Jacob and Esau that the father said to Jacob, how oh, you come back so quickly? But he thought he was talking to Esau. And Jacob said to his father, the Lord provide. Well, the Lord provide. Be careful, my friends. Sometimes we are saying the Lord do something and we are lying on the Lord. Have mercy. Jacob told his father the Lord provide. Because you see, Isaac was blind, but he know the voice. He said when they came with the food, he said, the voice sound like Jacob. But when I, he said, come closer, come closer. And when he feel his skin, he feel the year, not knowing that it was goat skin they put upon Jacob and, and uh, the Bible said, he said, your skin feel like Esau, but your voice is like the voice of Jacob. Oh, brothers and sisters, they tricked Isaac and Jacob received the blessing, but because of the trick, because of the trick oh Lord. that the mother and Jacob did to Isaac, well, they never, oh Lord. they never, after, after the mother told Jacob to run away, your brother is upset, you know, I don't, I know, I don't want a blood shed around here. The mother sent Jacob down to Laban, their family. And do you know that the Bible said the mother Oh, the mother never see Jacob again. Oh, Lord. Because when he came back home, after many years, the mother died already. Lord. And so sometimes the things that we do in our past could affect our future circumstances. Yes. But thank God for a second chance. Hallelujah. So this is part two. Stay with me as I share with you part two of Wrestling for a Change to let you know that no matter how bad our past may be, God you can Jesus. turn a mess into a message. God can turn yes, a loser into a winner. winner. And God uh -huh. do not want us to die in sin for the wages God of sin God is death. death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And Jacob was willing to receive a change. Amen. Jacob really want assurance from God. So one night he was praying. Mm -hmm. And there come a heavenly being and he was wrestling with this man. 
the night. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let me pray as we jump into the message. Dear God, bless this woman, bless this man, bless this boy, bless this girl who took their time. There is so much things to watch. There is so much other things to check out, but it take a little time to check out the Zion's Wall broadcast. Oh, I pray, oh God, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart the things to check out but it take a little time to check out the zion's wall broadcast i pray oh god that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be a blessing to somebody let the holy spirit arrest my thoughts and bless somebody today i pray Amen. in jesus name once more the message entitled wrestling for a change Amen. part two Wrestling for a change, part two. God bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is part two. A. Some of the things that we can do can affect our lives so badly. Jacob never saw his mother again. When he came back home, by that time, his mother died. Oh, Sad. Lord. After he leave home, he never saw her again. After the trip, he never saw her again. Number two, his brother wanted to kill him because of the trick. His family, number three, became torn apart by strife. Mercy. Number four, he became an exile have to run away. He worked seven years for the right to marry the girl of his dreams. As he walked up the aisle, getting ready to kiss the bride. Oh, for this big day, when he raised the veil to his surprise to kiss the bride, and when he looked on the, the veil, he was surprised. He got tricked. Well, it was not his fiance face. He saw her sister, Leah. Genesis 29, verse 25. The deceiver had been deceived. He went back to work for seven more years. Oh, Lord until he finally get the right one, the one he truly loved, Rachel, Genesis 29, verse 15 to 28, oh Lord, church, we got to decide whether we are going to trust God and do the things, and do things his way, or take matters into our own hands, we will answer be. I'm telling someone straight up. We can save ourselves a lot of hard takes by trusting God. Yes. And following God's way instead of our own way. Amen, yes. somebody. Yes, sir. We can save ourselves a lot of hard takes and headache. Amen. And follow God's way instead of our own way. Very true. Now, way. many people. My friends, stay with me right now, church. Stay with me, my friends. Brothers and sisters all over the world. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Glory God. Once you welcome once more to the Science Wall. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and help us to share the word of God. To spread the word of God in these last days of pandemic and coronavirus and other troubles to come. Why don't you help us spread and share and help to be a witness for Jesus. Can I tell you something? Hallelujah. If you stand up for God, God the Bible will. never lie. Jesus will stand up for you. Amen. And remember, even if we live for Jesus and we die, yes. he's so good, he's so great. He said that uh, in Revelation chapter 1 verse 18, I am he that was dead and past tense, and I am he that am now living present tense, and I am the keys of hell and of death, future tense. What am I trying to say? Yes. When you stand up and represent God, yes. he will always represent you. Hallelujah. I promise I hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You said in the book of St. John chapter 3 verse 16, let not your heart be troubled. Not known as, <laughs> hallelujah. That's in St. John chapter 3 verse 1. And in St. John chapter 3 verse 16, so for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that we said believe that he should not perish but have everlasting life. And in St. John chapter 14, 1 to 3, he said, let not your heart be troubled. 
that mean he's saying, once you trust me, he's gonna work out right. Lazarus was dead, and you yeah. see back life. And if you represent Jesus Christ by sharing and being a witness to Jesus, standing up, even if you die, and stand out for God, Jesus, eternal life. The Bible tells us in First Thessalonians chapter four, the Lord himself shall descend with the trump of God. The dead in Christ shall arise. Hallelujah. Let me get back to the word of God talking about wrestling for a change part two. That was just a little commercial to encourage you to share the word of God. Because when you do the word of when you do the work and, and do what God asks you to do, He will reward you. And the reward will not come from men. But sometimes men and women may let us down. But but Jesus, do something for God. Never let us give you your reward. Amen. Jacob was wrestling for a change because he did something that was so bad that affected his future. Wow, All of us have made mistakes, but thank God, even when we make mistakes, God is willing to forgive and He's willing to save. Amen. We do not and will not support none of us in, in any sin. No, sir. He will help us to come out of sin. For the wages of sin is death. Yes. Romans chapter 6 verse for God. The gift of God is eternal life. Alright? So uh, we must be willing to wrestle or willing to get a change. And uh, Jesus is willing to give you and I that change. So stay with me. I'm going somewhere now. Stay with me. Now because uh, uh, I'm going somewhere, so that's why I'm asking you to stay with me now. Let me get back into the Word because I don't want you to go away. Stay with me now. Let me jump back into the Word talking about Jacob. His mistakes that he made cost him odd takes and headaches. And we can save ourselves a lot of headaches by following the way of God instead of doing things like Jacob and his mother. They too do things their way. And it's sad to say, after they tricked Isaac, mm -hmm. the mother, oh Lord, after he sent, uh, she sent him down by their, uh, the uncle there, Laban, she never saw him again. Sad. Our sad. mistakes can cause us. Oh now, now uh, Jacob possessed, obviously, some character flaws. Amen, somebody? Am I speaking the truth? Yes. yes? Jacob possessed obviously some character flaws like all of us but his strength but his strength as well also tell us something his strength what do i mean by strength in spite of his faults okay, he had some strong characteristic in his life that i admire yeah, and uh, his method him. were not always respectable his method of the way he did things was not always respectable. No, sir. His skill, determination, and patience have to be admired. Yes. Right? That means even though you have corrupt flaws, there are some things in his life that you can learn from. He has skill and he was determined what he wanted to get. He's going to get what he wanted to get. Mercy. Maybe sometimes the way he did it was not the right way. Maybe that's why the Bible said to the, the, the Nicodemus, you must be born again because many of us have skills and sometimes the way we get stuff and acquire things may not be the best way. So we all, like Jacob, need a change. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, obviously, he got yes, disappointed yeah. when he did not get Rachel to marry, but he did not give up on his dream. What do I mean, young people? We have to be determined to acquire and achieve our dreams. And dreams don't come overnight. And dreams don't always come true as we plan it. But I admire that Jacob has some good things in his character. He was determined to fulfill his dream. Yes, I don't know sir. If anyone here are I listening mean. to fulfill his dream, I don't know if anyone here are listening this message has ever failed before. Have you ever been failed? Have you ever failed before? Have you ever failed trying to achieve something? Yes, Have yes, you ever sir. Failed uh, 
tried many times, trying to pass a test, and, and, and you did not give up. Oh, you Lord. went back and try again because delay do not mean denial. Yes. Right? Just because you fail do not mean you should give up. And um, Jacob demonstrate when he did not get Rachel that he was determined to get the woman he loved. He was determined to get the one that he chose. So Jacob had some strength. His strength was that he was determined and delay do not mean denial. So Jacob, with his strength and his ability, was someone who was not easily ready to quit or switch. No, not to. He was not easily someone who give up and to acquire and to achieve greatness. You cannot easily give up in these last days. Jacob keep on trying in spite of his character flaws. I love the fact that he is not somebody that quit easily. Amen. He's not somebody, if you go to church and you have a New Year style and they didn't tell you, look good, you get mad. Or they tell you something is not right, you get sad and start being bad and don't want to go back to church. Right? Jacob was determined. So he is not perfect, but he's determined to keep trying in spite of his past mistakes. Amen, somebody. Jacob was determined to keep trying in spite of, in spite of his past mistakes and tricks. Right? Keep trying in spite, in spite of the past. Jacob was a determined man. Somebody say amen. Amen. Jacob was a what? Determined, determined man. man. Are you a determined woman? Are you a determined man who determined to, to, to stand up and witness for God and to, to come forward with the Bible in your hands and saying for Jesus I stand and in these last days I my plan is to take a stand with the word of God in my right hand. Amen. Because you know for us to gain victory we must oh, come mercy. here with the word of God oh, in our hands. Oh. Yeshua, with the gospel of peace and Shall I come with the word of God, which is the spirit of the sword, uh, determined to take a stand. Jacob was a determined man. He wanted to be successful. Now the success of the success of a great man, the success of a great man is not how much money he makes. Well, again, the success of a great man is not how much money he makes. No sir. It's not how many children he, he have. No, sir. It's not all goodies in not all goodies at work or church. In the success of a great man is not base and your skill. His commitment to God, that's what comes. Our commitment to God is greater than the things that we achieve. Our commitment to God is one of the greatest things we can achieve. Amen. And um so our commitment to our children and our, uh, and the wife is good and wonderful. Yes. But the greatness of a good man is not determined by how many toys he gives his children. Well. Or how many times he spends with his children. So what is important? What is priority? And oh, many times he, 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 he brings his children to the Lord and bring them to church and pray with them and encourage them in God. It's not how many toys you buy or how many sneakers. Well, but the question is, when lots of you pray with your child, well, when lots of you encourage them to go to church or bring them to church, hmm. what is most important to you? Jacob was a determined man. Now notice something about Jacob. Jacob, when he saw something he wanted, he would not rest on until it was his. Have mercy. <laughs> Can I say that again? Have mercy. When Jacob saw something he wanted, he would not rest until it was his. Is that a bad thing? Somebody tell me. Why don't you answer me here? Oh Lord. When he had a goal, he would pursue it relentlessly. Nothing could stop him once he made up his mind. And today we witness that determination here in this 
unusual episode where we literally, literally, literally wrestle all night long with a spiritual being. He has lived his life up to the point, up to this point, doing things his way. Well, he has lived his life doing things his way. Yes, sir. And now he was going back home. He want a change. He want assurance. He want Comfort. to know that God is pleased and God is with him. Yes. All of us at some point we gotta check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Amen. Somebody say amen here. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can't say amen. Thumbs up. It's all right. Sometimes we gotta check ourselves. Yeah. Before we what? Wreck ourselves. Jacob was checking himself and he wants assurance from God. Now, 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 his life was all about himself, Jacob, in the past. His life was all about himself in the past. Mm -hmm. yes. But on this night, and this night in the book of Genesis 32. Yes, this Genesis night. 32, verse 22 to 32. And this night, he would never be the same anymore. Hallelujah. Praise Church, God. And this night, my brothers and sisters from all over, Jacob would be different from this night on. He was confronted with the pain of his past failures. Yes. This night. Amen. He found himself yes, sir. To change this night. Hallelujah. Now let us look at the word wrestling. Come on, Baxter. Wrestling. Look at this word. Wrestling is a sport in which two people fight and try to throw each other to the ground. In wrestling, we use our hands to pin uh, or press each other shoulder to the mat to win. Wrestling is trying to, tr to, to, to trip our throw. Come on. Wrestling is trying to trip our throw. Each other off balance to get the upper hand. Uh -huh. But in this wrestling match with Jacob and, and this man, it was our all night battle. Yes. Sometimes, parents, you find yourself up late praying for your daughter. Oh, pray for your son, pray yes. for somebody. Because Jesus. the Spirit of God rests upon you, you must pray. You There's must pray. Wrong. There is There's no hope. time to Many delay. Of us can testify. Oh Lord, you, you must the night pray. And you, and you just find yourself start to pray for your child. Because the devil had a trap set. For this battle, in for wrestling for a change, sometimes don't come quickly. It take all night for Jacob. Hallelujah. Jacob was determined, I got Hallelujah. to win. And when he realized, he, he usually went. Yes. But on this night, he realized that he went. was not able to win. Mm -hmm. But 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 <laughs> he realized I cannot win this battle. Not tonight. tonight. All uh -huh. my tricks most time works. Yeah. All my lying mm, and gossiping work. Tricks. I, I cannot help myself. I cannot win. He said to himself, I need help. Yeah. Because I cannot win. So I need help. And Lord. this man here, I believe this man tonight can help me. Yes, so tonight in this or today. Match, they are fighting for victory. Mm -hmm. But they took some time to talk about what they wanted out of life. Genesis chapter 32. Genesis 32, verse 24 to 30. In the wrestling match, in the wrestling match, this man did something to Jacob that stayed with him until he died. Genesis 32 and verse 25. He made a move on Jacob. Well, oh Lord, come on, somebody. You know about wrestling. Yeah. He made a move on Jacob uh -huh. that caused his tie to be out of joint. Yes, sir. This move caused Jacob to walk with a limp. Yeah. Oh, Sometimes. The struggles of life will leave us with scars, Jesus. moments, Jesus. memories of struggles, so Lord. Mm -hmm. Scars that you know that you was in a fight. Oh, now this man told Jacob to let him go. And Jacob said, no way, no way, sir. I will not let you go. Not tonight. Let me tell you something. I, Jacob, will not let you go not until tonight. you bless me. Oh, Lord. Genesis 32. Verse 26 to 20. The verse 26 to 28. Sometimes we have to keep holding on. 
God. And we can Amen. let go. In this time of pandemic and coronavirus, we need to be under the blood. We need to be sure of that blood. Like Jacob, we can't let go. Now, if I have time, I would like to share with you four things we can learn from Jacob wrestling much in the night. Four things we can learn from Jacob wrestling much in the night. Number one, in the moment of great fear, God is there. Four things I want to share with you if I have time. So let me move fast. Number one, in moments of great fear, God is there. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the moments of fear, God, God is there. You, if you know what I'm talking about, say hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. What we did not read, because I didn't read this for you, but what we did not read in the first half of Genesis 32 is that Jacob is about to meet his brother Esau again for the first time in 20 years. Wow. Hmm? Try to imagine the thought going through Jacob's mind at this moment. He's about to meet up face to face with his brother. He had deceived. Yes. He has not seen him since the day he ripped off Esau's birthright. Oh, Lord. Now, would you, how would you feel knowing you were about to meet the person we had cheated and deceived out of his most precious possession. Oh, he was scared to death. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He was scared to death. So Genesis 32, verse 6 to 7. But oh, we didn't read that part. We didn't read that part. Genesis 32, verse 6 to 7. Jacob sent messengers to Esau. And when they returned, they said, we went to your brother Esau, mm -hmm. and now he's coming to meet you. Yes. But he's not coming alone. Oh, he's Lord. coming with 400 men with him. In great fear and distress, Jacob divided the people who were with him in two groups. Well, yes, Genesis 32. Yes, no. Look at verse 6 and 7. Well, he was... He, 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 he divided the people in two groups because he was frantic with fear. So he come up with a plan, hoping to soften up his brother. He sent messengers, uh, messengers ahead of him with all these gifts. <laughs> 100 female goats. 20 male goats. 200 thieves. 20 rams, 30 female camels, well, 40 cows, 10 bulls, 20 female, and 10 male donkeys. With the plan ready, he settled down for the night. Yes. You think he could sleep? No, sir. You think the man could sleep? No. Fear was all around him. Sometimes Never our sleep. past can bring fear, but Jesus is willing to give us a change. He could not sleep, no way, church, he could not sleep. He's piercing back and forth, he's nervous, he's worried. He cannot sleep, his mind is racing. There's great fear in his heart. Yes. Oh Lord, have mercy. Jesus. Jesus. He's saying to himself, what will happen tomorrow? Hold, hold on here. What will happen tomorrow? What will happen to me, to my family? He cannot sleep. Church, trouble, trouble. Like Jacob, like us, need help, and he need he needs direction. Hallelujah. He need help, and he needs direction. Jesus, I better pray. Jacob may be saying, "I better pray." Look to heaven. He started looking up to heaven. Church, he was looking up to heaven instead of looking down here for help. Uh -huh. Can I say it again? Uh -huh. Jacob, in his fear start to look up to heaven Hallelujah. instead of instead of looking down here Hallelujah. for help but the bible said jacob was alone sometimes you have to go by yourself to pray to god yes sometimes you have to go by yourself when you want to receive a breakthrough and a break in oh, jesus name Hallelujah. so jacob he's here praying now like us we're we're living in a time when we need supernatural power Hallelujah. so church he started praying. However, he had his own plans. So he sent his wives and belonging across the river. Yes. Verse 22. To 
chapter 23 of Genesis 32. No church, he's alone in the dark. Oh God. Have you ever remember he was alone by yes. himself in the dark? Jesus. He was alone in the dark. Mercy. With his thoughts and fears. Mercy. He alone with his trouble and trials. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let us be careful Jesus. who we take advice from. Jesus. Jacob take advice from his mother. Now he's in trouble. Where his mother is? His mother is not there. He alone with his trouble, trials, and, and, and worry. So let us be careful who we take advice from. Let us be careful who we take up gossip when we heard something. But we never had the facts. We never saw. And we did not bother to ask because many people today are more quick, are more quick to, to believe gossip over the gospel. Yes. Jacob listened to bad advice and now he himself is dealing with all this trouble. He take bad advice and make the bad choices. But now church is standing alone because of his choices. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now church, look at him. He's, He's alone, alone in the dark. Oh, because of mercy. the early choices he made in his life. Oh, somebody hear what I'm talking about here. Mercy, the things that we do God. can affect our future. Be careful. Oh, my friends. I, I, I praise God today. Because of God, because our God is not like men. He's always ready with bricks and stones to condemn. Like in St. John's chapter 8. St. John's chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. Someone who they saw was caught in the act of adultery. They were ready for her to die. Lord have mercy. They were ready to stone her because of her sins. In St. John's chapter 8, St. John's chapter 8, 1 to 11. But Jesus said to the people who were ready to stone her to death, because of her sins, they were ready to kill her, O oh Lord. Jesus said in St. John's chapter 8, verse 7, He that is without sin among you, that have all those stones in your hands, let him first cast a stone at her. Oh, many of us are so quick to cast stone, to kill Jacob, to, to say he, he, he's wicked and he's this and he's that. But have you ever thought that we have done things similar to Jacob? Have you ever thought some of us have lied or did things that were similar? Nice. Huh? The Bible said Jesus was not quick to condemn in St. John's chapter 8, verse 7. He said, he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone at her. Jesus said that and stooped down and wrote at the ground. Maybe he was writing liars to face, love in your face, people, and condemns us behind our back. Jesus maybe wrote, uh, truth breakers, going to pawn reader, self center, care only for themselves, on the minders, on the takers, always trying to bury someone. Oh Lord, self employed judge. Always coming to a conclusion based on other information without getting the proper information. Now, church, while Jesus was doing this, wrote writing on the ground in verse 9, verse 9 of St. John's chapter 8 said, They all walked away. So, this woman, like Jacob, was left with Jesus alone. And like Jacob, she was alone, but somebody else was there. Like Jacob was left alone, but somebody else was there this woman was left alone but jesus was there Mercy. jesus gave this woman a second chance Hallelujah. jesus gave this woman a second chance he's speaking to you right now Mercy, he's saying to you my brother my sister Lord. i want to give you a second chance Mercy. Mr. Mercy, oh Lord, you you Thank you, you may not think you deserve a second chance they're ready to condemn with stones but Jesus is saying to you, my friend, you'll get this message in Jesus' name. Jesus want to give you a second chance. Jesus said, go and sin no more. Watch this. Jacob was left alone. But not for long, a man came and wrestled with him. But more than a man, it was what? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is part 2A. Look for part 2B of Wrestling for a Change from the Zion's Ball Broadcast. Look for part uh, to uh, a b coming up this is part two a wrestling for a change may the lord bless you and keep you have a nice